All right, this is an instrument cluster I've hooked up on my desk to see what kind of modifications I can do to it. This is for a 91, so the oil pressure gauge has some sort of a resistor or something on board which won't allow it to go above normal. 89 does not have this limit, but this one seems to have that limit, and I can't figure it out yet, but I'm working on it. But anyway, if you wanted to put a digital dash in your current car that does not have a digital dash and no data lead to the ECM, it can be done. I have the fuel, ga fuel gauge hooked up right now with a 100 ohm resistor, which shows normal range. Okay, I have 2,000 ohm resistor here, which is 2,000 ohm resistor together to make the temperature gauge stay in the middle. I have the oil pressure gauge connected directly to ground, which makes it in the center, obviously, because we're we will have a fake gauge. And I have a 100 ohm resistor hooked up to the fuel gauge sending unit line, which makes the gauge one one above middle. Now, the only thing that won't work without the ECM is here. You can see I have a regular speed sensor. Is as soon as you show any motion, the thing goes up to 99. Once you stop, it goes to zero. Now, if I select another range, which we'll do here, we'll go to average economy, which obviously stays at 99999. But all the other things will, the fuel distance remaining will stay at an average of 22 miles per gallon, no matter what your average economy is. So if you're doing 60 miles, it'll, it'll give you the wrong reading, but it'll work. And your, obviously your trip distance will also work. So now, you know that if you want to put one of these in your car, you can wire it up and still have it work. I'm still trying to crack the 85 mile an hour limit, and I'm trying to crack the oil pressure gauge situation, but when I do that, I'll give you the info you need. That's it for now. Bye.